Hey guys, it's Angus, and today I'm going to give you a video on why you shouldn't actually try to repair your mobile touchscreen phone if you're actually going to use just the glass. Now it's unlikely, but you may actually have seen one of my previous videos where I actually go over how to repair a MacBook Pro, which doesn't have a touchscreen. And you would have seen from there that actually repairing the screen can actually be a lot easier than actually you think, because you don't actually have to replace the LCD mainly because the glass is not actually soldered to the actual LCD, where in mobile devices, the glass is actually glued to the LCD. So this wasn't actually something I was fully aware of until I actually tried to repair the glass on my Moto G. So of course, I assumed that you could just buy the glass. Now you can do this, but it is incredibly difficult. And again, I will show you why. So this now pretty much goes for almost all touchscreens, including tablet devices as well. If you are going to repair just the glass, you will actually have to buy a digitalizer. Now, a digitalizer is actually part of the LCD. So, do not assume that you can actually just go buy the glass and hopefully that will be able to remove because, again, I'll show you and it is incredibly hard to move. And by the time you've actually tried to separate the glass from the actual LCD, it is completely not worth the money. And you might as well just buy the glass and the digitalizer because, firstly, it's quicker and it's so much easier as well. Of course, it will cost more money, but actually separating the glass from the LCD to save you money is going to be really difficult. Now, what I am also going to do is actually how to fully and properly repair your Moto G, which will be coming up. But as you can see, I'm trying to actually do the normal method of actually heating the display to actually loosen the glue. And hopefully that should actually make it really easy to separate the glass from the digitalizer. And of course, I did this for a ridiculously long time and it did not work. And it just made it incredibly difficult and it was just a complete waste of time. Now, there are tutorials Again, also including the Moto G on actually how to do this, but it is incredibly difficult. And by the time you've done it, you've probably either cracked the display or you've actually wasted too much time. So again, I highly advise that you get a digitalizer with the glass and it will make it so much easier because you can literally just throw this away and replace it with a new one. So when you actually fully take apart the Moto G, you get presented with this. So this is actually just the entire screen. So on the front, you can see the cracked display and on the other side, which is flipped over, is actually the backing, which is for the back LED. This isn't actually part of the screen. It's just a light used to actually illuminate the back of the entire LCD. So again, trying to actually separate the glass from the LCD is just too difficult and really just is not worth it. So even though I did actually completely destroy my display, this is what the actual LCD display looks like after I actually tried to completely separate the LCD from the glass, and of course it completely failed. So the light there is actually part of the illumination. So again, it's just an LED light, and that is part of the touchscreen. Now, I did actually hook it back up to the phone, and it did actually turn on, but again, by the time I had actually tried to separate it, I had actually made the screen completely worse and is just not worth it. So as mentioned before, I will actually be doing a proper repair process of actually doing the Moto G. And again, that'll actually go through actually how to properly repair the Moto G with the digitalizer and with the screen. Again, you can actually try yourself if you want to repair just using the glass, but this will take a ridiculously long time and honestly, good luck to it. Of course, if you've got any concerns or any comments that you want to share, definitely be sure to drop that in the comments below. But apart from that, thank you for watching. 3 inch MacBook Pro is the A1278, and you want to be using that to find the right screen. Of course, if you find the wrong screen and you still order it, you won't be able to replace it because it simply won't fit in your MacBook. So you'll notice that quite a lot of different companies range from prices, and quite frankly, anyone will work. I'll actually show an example which I got from eBay. So here it is, and you may think that's too cheap, but quite frankly, the quality that is produced is actually really high, and